Do you like it? I'm sorry, the mic was doing. I like you too. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing good. So today I'm back again with another long-awaited, highly requested video, um, which is the barn and edges look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share to every single body in your family. And yeah, let's get to the video. So what you're gonna need for this hair tutorial is you're gonna need a spray bottle with water. You need a hair. <laughs> you're gonna need a hairband. Let's think, let's pretend this hairband is nice and new and there's nothing on it yet. You're next gonna need some nice gel. Make sure it's gel that holds your hair up because you know we don't want no hair coming out. Next, you're also gonna need a slick brush because we want that hair to look like, like, if you know what I mean. Next, you're also gonna need a toothbrush because we, we need to make sure them edges look cute too. And you're also, and you're also gonna need a normal brush so that we can just make the hair a bit more softer and make the bun look a bit cuter, if you know what I mean. First, you're going to start off by dampening the hair just so that it's easier to work with. So what I like to use is an old spray bottle. So this used to be heat defense, but now it's just water. So you're just going to spray it around your hair just to make your hair easy to work with. And also when we when we slick it up and whatever, it's going to be extra slick. So let's get to it. Cause I want you, and I need what? You, and I'm down for you. Okay, so next you're gonna need a normal brush because we want to make sure that the hair is still a bit thick. So the reason why I kind of sprayed, I may try spray it as well around the heads because that's the main area that needs to be slick. You want the ends to be a bit thick. That's why I didn't brush spray through properly because I want it to be still be a bit puffy but still have it slick, the slick effect. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a normal brush. This is from Poundland. Like I just, it depends on the texture of your hair. If you've got more um, thick hair, so more kinky hair, I suggest getting a thicker one than this because this one, as you, when you press it, it easily bends. But that's only because of my hair texture when it's wet. So when it's a bit damp, I'm capable of you know brushing it through. So you're just gonna use your brush, brush it through, make sure that it's a bit thicker, and yeah. Another tip when you're brushing your hair is make sure that the back is also slick. So you see how I brushed here? You want to make sure that there are no knots in it because that helps as well when you're slicking it down. It just makes sure that everything goes up. So the same thing with the back. Here, you want it to be slick like this because, you know, when you slick it up, it's going to be slick. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so and now I have now brushed my hair through. It's still a bit damp, but that's okay. You just want it to be really, just a tiny bit damp. Next, I'm gonna grab my gel. This is Eco Styler gel, which was 2 dollars from my local black hair shop. You can get any gel. I use this gel, or sometimes I use this gel. This gel is more watery, so if you've got more Caucasian hair, this is the one for you. The pros of this is that it's like, if you're on the go and you don't wanna do like, wash your hair all the time and stuff like that. This is really good because it's watery. It's more of a watery solution. This was 89p from my corner shop that I buy my bread from. And this, this was 2 dollars from my black hair shop and the pros of this is that it holds. Like, I could have this in my hair for three days and I believe that I'll just keep the same hair stuff for three days and it won't do anything. The cons is that it flakes. <laughs> it flakes. Like if you have this, you need to make sure that you wash your hair. You need to make sure you wash your hair. And the more you put on it, the more it kind of breaks your edges. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your gel and you're gonna apply this all on the so towards the front of your head. So you see where I was telling you where you want it to be slick? We're gonna just apply gel there just so that it, we can start building up to slicking up. So here's the gel in my hand. I've always wanted to do that. So that was quite a small amount to you. You're obviously going to need more than that. But you want to apply it all around your head. Once you've applied it all around your head, you want to next get 
you want to next get your slick brush so this slick brush is also from the same hair shop that I bought my gel from it's got more of a soft side and more of a brittle side I tend to use the brittle side only because I really want my hair to be so you're going to use the more brittle side and you're going to slick it all up into one direction so from the bottom you're going to slick upwards all the way to your hands so you're just making sure you're collecting any hairs that have like you know falling down or whatever and you want to make sure that you get every single part of your head like the whole 360 degrees but you want to make sure you pack the whole hair make sure there are no bumps because that's the worst thing you want because it just doesn't add up so make sure you use your brittle side and you swipe upwards towards your hand okay so now I've slicked it up you want to now get a hair tie make sure it's a really thick one because you want this hair to be like proper so you're gonna get this arm and you're gonna press it all down into one direction ensuring that everything is up and then you're gonna get your hair tie I usually wrap until the hair tie is really tight so what I do is I'm just gonna tie it So you're going to just tie it up into a nice cute ponytail. This is a hairstyle. Is it? <laughs> Next, I just want to ensure again that I've made sure I've picked up every single hair. So I'm just going to go again. Ooh. Just going to go again with my slick brush all around my head. And now it's come to the bun pit. The bun pit. The bun bit. So what you're going to do is, because my hair is of a longer length, some people might struggle with wrapping it around. So another thing you could do is use extensions and hold the extensions out and wrap it around with the extensions. But for me, I don't really need extensions. Um, so what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to start with my right hand side. And I'm going to grab the hair from this side and wrap it around. So you're just going to make sure, so the hair that you took from this side, you're just going to leave it and you're going to wrap it around. So right now it's in a really tight top knot. Some girls like it like this. You know some girls like top top knot because of cash doll. Ever since cash doll decided to do one top knot like this, some girls like it like this. I personally don't like it because it's just so and my head's really big as well, so it ain't really gonna work. So once I've tied it up like this, I work from the top and I move it down. So I like to make my bun look a bit smaller. So from the hair that I've taken from the top, I'm just going to wrap that around again. Making sure that my bun is still in the centre of my head. Because you don't want a bun that is just in the middle. I mean the side. Okay, so next we're now going to go on to the edges. So some girls prefer having just a plain slick up I mean this is a look too but I prefer also having edges only because it makes the hair sound more intriguing than it. use a clean toothbrush to ensure to make your edges look cute or whatever so what I'm gonna use is the exact same gel that I used to slick up my edges so I'm gonna get some from the top only because I don't want to waste product you're gonna use that and you're gonna go in for one two three if it don't work, it don't work. You just need to try your hardest to make it work. So you're gonna do exactly the same thing to this side. your edges I tend to just go back to um, doing my makeup or fixing the ed like the makeup that's messed up because of my edges I don't like to do the edges here only because I've got a really big head so it makes my head look bigger but if you do want to do it you can do it so yeah I'm just gonna go back with my makeup and you know fix up and touch up or whatever of my video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video make sure you give it a like and thumbs up if ever you try this hairstyle because you've watched my video then make sure you tag me in anything my social media will be somewhere here i'll make sure to put it in um 
all the stuff that I've used will be down below. I'll try and find some websites that do it. I think Amazon do it. But yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Educating and stay blessed. Bye.